Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler. This is a supplemental episode, episode 21.2, to give you a chance to see something really quickly here that I alluded to in a previous episode that has now been added to my collection. Back in episode number 21, we took a look at the making of Star Wars. And I pointed out that to many, the making of Star Wars is best known in this form. This is the 1995 release that was available as a mail-away through Kellogg, you know, the cereal company. Now, the main difference between this VHS version from 1995 and the aired version from 1977 is that if you go through and check this out, you'll find that the announcer or the narrator's voice is different. It's Don LaFontaine instead of William Conrad. This is the one that people who are collecting in the 90s probably are most familiar with. Much more recently, The Making of Star Wars, as told by C-3PO and R2-D2, which is the full title, was released in its original William Conrad form on the 2011 Complete Saga Blu-ray set on that ninth disc with spoofs and documentaries and reissued in 2015 when the Complete Saga itself got its own reissue with identical discs. Now in episode 21.1, a recent supplemental episode, I showed you this. How in 1982, there was a re-release from 20th Century Fox Video of the making of Star Wars, except it was done as a double feature with SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back, which is also on the Blu-ray Complete Saga set. And that these were available on VHS, Betamax, CED, and Laserdisc. But the one I showed you was this, which is the CED, the only one of that double feature that was in my collection at the time. This time, I want to show you very quickly here the Laserdisc release of that double feature. That is this. This is the American release of the making of Star Wars as told by C-3PO and R2-D2 and SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back, as a double feature on Laserdisc. We have 20th Century Fox video up there. We have the uh, labels, of course, here for each one of the programs. Laser video disc, 20th Century Fox. Stereo extended play down here with an asterisk electronically rechanneled for stereo. Okay. On the back, pictures from it, information about it, the logos for each of the specials, and of course your legal information down there at the bottom. The disc itself, inside in a protective sleeve, looks like so. And then each side has one of the two programs. So you can fit an hour on each side of an extended play disc. These were specials that run about 45 minutes, so slap one on each side, you're good to go. That is what they did here. So, just another way to get that same special, or a pair of specials in this case, back in the early 80s, this time on Laserdisc. One thing I wanted to point out, though, in case you're wanting to add this to your own collection, is how you can distinguish this version versus a foreign version. This is the U.S. version. 20th Century Fox video. Get the little bars on top and bottom. You got your image here. This is a relatively rare laser disc to find these days on the secondary market as a U.S. release. You go on somewhere like eBay and usually you're going to run into foreign releases, particularly Japanese releases. The content is effectively the same. But if you find this as a Japanese release or uh, an Asian release, Generally, what you're going to see is it's this same pair of logos in a circle, and you're seeing this same star field background. But then the corners that are kind of rounded off for that circle are all gray up in the corners. It's, it almost looks like the whole thing is just one big sheet of gray, and they've cut a circle in it so you can see this underneath it, but it's actually all one image. But if you look for this and you find the one that's all gray on the corners, that is not a U.S. release. Lots of U.S. sellers, because it was apparently imported quite a bit into the U.S., but those are not U.S. releases. The U.S. one is this one with your bars on top and bottom for 20th Century Fox. With that, we'll wrap up this short supplemental episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.